I'm going to show you how to create geometry in our milling and EDM software. So let's first evaluate the part. The overall length is 11 and a half inches. The width of the part is 5 inches. You can see we have a 2 and a half inch radius from the circle center. On each end, you have a 3 quarter inch radius. And in the center, you have a, five, a half inch diameter hole. The holes in the middle, those are one inch in diameter, and from center you have three inches on both sides. And then we'll work on the slots, so let's get that far. So first I'm going to start by placing stock in the, around the part. So we'll go to the Geometry tab and Rectangle from corner to corner. So we'll start with the upper left hand corner. You can pick any corner that you'd like. So the X, we're going to go with negative 6 inches, and we'll go with 3 inches in Y. Now the R value, let's just use snap to screen here for a minute. You can see you can change the radius in the corner. So I'm going to take that and call that 0. And it's symmetrical, so we're going with a positive three, 6 negative 3. Now we'll start constructing our part. We're going to use a circle, center, and radius. And the radius was 2.5. And we want to pick the center. You can either use snap to all, or you could type in your coordinates on the right hand side, the x, y, z, and r. So we're going to snap to the middle. Then we have our 3 quarter inch radius on the end and that's going to be let's go back to our print from center we're going over five inches negative five and positive five now we have lines that are tangent to each of these arcs so we're going to use a line at two points. Now I have to pick up the tangency point on both of those. So we're going to use our tangent snap. And if you hover your cursor, it'll give you a toolbar tip. And you can see you have different tangent possibilities here. Walk right around your part. And we'll remove the geometry in the middle. So we're going to use remove to closest and it picks up on the intersection. Okay, next we have those half inch holes on both ends. So the radius is 0.25 and I want to pick up the center of this arc so we're going to use our circle center snap. Change our radius to 0.5 and then snap to this arc, the center of that arc. And we're going to use 3 inches on X and negative 3 inches on X. Now we'll work on our slots. The center of our slots is represented here on the left slot. That's an inch and a half in that, uh, radius. The thickness of our slot is a half inch. So we're going to offset a quarter inch on both sides of our inch and a half inch diameter or I'm sorry radius and then from X three o'clock you have 60 degrees and then the overall slot length is 60 degrees so let's begin there so we're going to use circle center and radius and our radius was inch and a half And we're going to use offset command, which is a D value, and the D is quarter of an inch. And we're going to offset the inside and the outside. Now we need to use our construction lines. So we're going to go line at an angle, and that was X 3 o'clock, as you can see here, straight across. That's where we're going to pull the angle from, and you're going to type in an angle of 60 degrees. So from that 60 degrees, 
we're going another 60. Now to change things up, I'm going to go to Geometry, and we're going to create a circle or arc from center and edge. So we need to pick the center point and then the edge. And I'm going to use Snap to All to help me to do that. So we'll snap here. And we no longer need our lines or the center circle. So we'll go to Edit, Delete. And then we'll use Remove the Closest to clean the remaining geometry. Now we have four slots. They're 90 degrees apart. So we need to make a copy of the first one. So we'll go to Edit rotate around the z-axis. So picture this, your z-axis is sticking straight out of your screen so if you put a pencil down and stuck it into your computer screen and you put a propeller on it, your propeller would spin around the z-axis. So we want 90 degrees off of zero and now we want to make three copies so we go to copy mode. And this looks a lot like this. And that concludes this video.